thank you so much, and uh, thank you so much for inviting me uh, here. I've been asked to uh, make a short intro to the topic that we are going to discuss uh, today, a topic of great importance, job creation, entrepreneurship, uh, and a topic uh, that I have now worked on uh, in a development uh, agency. But I've also worked on the topic before uh, because for eight years I was part of the political leadership in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, until uh, 2013. Uh, and I worked uh, on gender issues uh, as a state secretary uh, in the Ministry of, of Foreign Affairs. So uh, I guess I would say that I bring perspectives mainly now uh, from CARE, uh, but I also uh, will try to bring some perspectives for having been part uh, of a government uh, where this issue has also been uh, important. Let me just say a few words about uh, CARE Norway, uh, because uh, as was said, we have a double mandate. We uh, are both a humanitarian agency, but also a long-term development uh, agency. Internationally, we are one of the biggest development humanitarian agencies uh, in the world. But in Norway, we're quite small. If you compare CARE Norway to some of the really big ones in Norway, the Red Cross, uh, Save the Children, um, we're small. Our only and main focus is on women. So everything that we do in our uh, development work is directed towards women. So in many ways you can say that that is one of our uniquenesses, that we solely uh, focus on uh, issues concerning uh, women. One of the things that we have done for a long period of time is creating what we call the SLA. That is village saving and loan groups that are being created all over the world uh, with an emphasis uh, in Africa where local, rural, poor women come together and they start groups where they save a bit of money and where they, in the end, also loan uh, money from uh, the savings. Millions of women all around the world are part of these kinds uh, of groups. And what we have seen uh, through our work is that in these groups, eventually, uh, many women are able to create a job for themselves, and some of them are also able to take the steps and start a small business, and then next steps where maybe they can offer uh, someone else also a job in their business. And then slowly, slowly, you see uh, that uh, development takes uh, place. Do I use this? I'm so bad at technology stuff. Can you help me? You're trying? The topic of, of today is on gender women economic empowerment through job creation and entrepreneurship. And, you know, we may ask, you know, why is gender important? Um, for me, it's obvious. It is because the statistics are so clear. Uh, even though we have female entrepreneurs all around the world and in an increasing number, which is very positive, Still, we know that women 
face constraints and other kinds of constraints than men do. So if we are able to work on some of these constraints, make it easier uh, for women, confront these constraints, I believe uh, that we would probably see even more women uh, going into business, going into uh, entrepreneurship. In my view, you know, focusing on women economic empowerment, it is not only the right thing to do. Of course, it's a right ish issue. It's an issue because why should women not have the same opportunities as men to create uh, a business? Of course, it's about rights. But it's also the smart thing to do. We have so much statistics that show that if you focus on gender equality, if you give women a chance to be part of the labor market, we know that the economies boost. In Norway, you know, we have a tendency of saying that what made Norway rich is the oil. And I'm not saying that the oil didn't make Norway rich, because it did. But if you look at the value of what happened when women entered the labor force in Norway, the value of that for the Norwegian economy, it's much greater than the value uh, from the oil uh, sector. Saying that, you know, if we use the resources in a society, we make sure that women are part of business and entrepreneurship, that they get a wage, we see also huge economic benefits in a society. So for me, it's, it's not only the right thing to do, but it's also the smart thing to do. And since, since it's both right and smart, this uh, is what we, we uh, uh, need to do. This is Rehema. Uh, she's from Pemba, an island outside uh, Tanzania. Uh, we have uh, worked with her uh, in care. She uh, takes care of nine children. Uh, some of them um, she got herself. Uh, the rest uh, are um, children from her sister that uh, died of HIV AIDS. So nine children she takes uh, care of. She had a business, but it wasn't doing very well. We were able to uh, give her skills uh, through a cooperation with Rema Thusen uh, here in Norway. And now uh, she's having greater success with her business, she's earning more uh, money, uh, and uh, she's been able to hire the first person um, into her, her business. It's just one story. She says that it's two things for her that has been so important when she's been giving a chance to be an entrepreneur. The one thing is, of course, the economic situation. Her economic situation has become better but another thing she says is that it has built her self-confidence. When she walks around in the town as a businesswoman, it builds her confidence, but she, it's also a role uh, model. That is also why I think this agenda is so important also for the whole empowerment of women uh, agenda. As I said, there's a lot of statistics this is not a statistic that I have produced, but uh, it's a statistic that Linda Scott, who's a world uh, professor uh, in innovation and entrepreneurship, uh, has produced. Um, and for me, it, it shows you know, a clear trend that making sure uh, that women are given uh, opportunities it also boosts uh, the national competitiveness in a country, the way a country uses its uh, resources. But, as I said, there are uh, challenges. Uh, women face different challenges uh, and other challenges 
than men uh, do. The World Bank uh, has uh, said that some of the challenges that women face can be categorized into these seven challenges. I know that there are even more, but, but the World Bank has, has used uh, these uh, challenges. And what we can see from the work that we do is that we also uh, need to work on the same challenges. So in many ways, what the World Bank uh, has said are challenges facing women uh, are many of the same challenges that we as a development agency uh, face when we work uh, on this uh, issue. Human capital, uh, why is that important? Well, one of the most important things is the fact that uh, you know, fewer women than men, fewer girls than men are being given good education. We also see that many uh, girls in different parts of the world uh, drop out from school uh, when they are 12, 13, 14 for different uh, reasons. We also know uh, that uh, many times uh, they also lack the technical skills, uh, they lack the work uh, experience, uh, and if you look at the statistics, male entrepreneurs, they are also more likely to have been uh, employed in the wage sector prior uh, to becoming an uh, entrepreneur. In Bangladesh, the World Bank um, says that 70% uh, of female entrepreneurs reported being self-taught. Uh, and uh, the same, uh, well, 44% of the men reported the same. So there is, of course, uh, important to, to have a clear uh, mind about how can we build the human capital uh, for uh, women. And then it's selection of sector. Um, many of them are in formal uh, sector. It's access to information. Uh, I totally believe uh, in uh, ICT, uh, in creating, you know, using mobile phones, all of these uh, new uh, technologies. But we also know that there are less women than men that actually have a mobile phone uh, today. So, so we can't only see that mobile phones uh, is the solution. It's institutional factors, uh, social, cultural uh, norms, many factors. We can go more into uh, that uh, in the discussion. But there's a lot of things we can do. And we see that from uh, the work that we do uh, in the field. We work with the, the most poor women. And we have business development training programs with huge successes. We make sure that we can try to um, um, create a linkage between the VSLA groups to the financial uh, institutions. We work on networks uh, and uh, mentoring. We take a holistic approach. This is an issue of gender equality. We need to engage uh, the men, build strong partnerships, and we need to use data uh, and uh, knowledge. So that uh, was the intro uh, from uh, me as a starting point uh, for the discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Dries.